All right, greetings and salutations. Humanoids and everything in between, or I don't even know right now. I just want to talk to you about this book by Christopher Isherwood called A Single Man. So, existential alienation is like a very human thing, like a part of the human condition to experience that. I love this cover right here. It's like surfs up all the way, guys. And this book and what it means to me, this is like a sitting in parking lots feeling like very fucked over about life in general. So revealing. Talk about so many things. But uh, it's a great novel and a movie that was made with Colin Firth. You may have seen it before. And Tom Ford produced that movie, which is phenomenal, of course. We all know Tom Ford in this very poofy lapel pocket in a suit jacket, uh, freaking handkerchiefs or whatever the fuck that guy's into with the, with the black and white aesthetic. So what does this book say? A major figure in both 20th century literature or fiction and the gay rights movement, Christopher Isherwood, 1904 to 1986, is also the author of Prater Violent, Down There on a Visit, Lions and Shadows, The Memorial, The World in the Evening, and A Meeting by the River. All available in paperback editions, the University of Minnesota Press. When A Single Man was originally published, it shocked many by its frank, sympathetic, and moving portrayal of a gay man and midlife. George, their protagonist, is adjusting to life on his own after the sudden death of his partner. Determined to persist in the routines of his daily life, an Englishman and a professor in suburban Southern California. He is an outsider in every way, and his... In Internal reflections and interactions with others reveal a man who loves being alive despite everyday injustices and loneliness. Wry, sudden, manic, and constantly funny, surprising, and sad. This novel catches a texture of itself. I love this fucking book, guys. Why do I love it? Well, because I am a hugely obsessed asshole with W.H. Auden. And here's Christopher Isherwood's Berlin story. He's very nervous gay literature, apparently, and so, fuck off on all that, you assholes, or whatever you want to say about that, like, if you read this, you must be a latent homosexual, which is fucking stupid, and I hesitate to use the root, I won't even say what I really think, but I'll tell you guys, like, if you are into existentialism or existential theism, this is the book for you, if you've read, like, Dostoevsky or, like, Sartre, you should probably move on to read Isherwood, you know? And man, like Nightmail by Auden and that shit is my total fucking jam. And he was also a very Christian asshole for you nervous people. There's my bubble right there. So, what do I have to say about this? Well, George, I mean, watch the movie with Colin Firth. It's pretty accurate to the novel, actually. And it tells you a lot about human alienation and existential... Bullshit, I'm going to shake this camera. No, I'm just kidding around. But I am trying to smoke and drink these freaking clamatos right now. So, good book. I highly recommend it. Just watch the movie on Amazon or Netflix or whatever your fucking thing is right now. Especially if you get locked down again. No comments on that, but, I mean, you should watch the movies or do something with your life. And then, like, I... I'm very obsessed with W.H. Auden, so I'm just going to say that again, and smoking these cigarettes right now. Awesome book. Teaches you about what it is to be human. Reflect upon the life of George. It's very nervous. That asshole got in a sleeping bag and put a fucking gun in his mouth. And all his little hipster friends came around. He had found like, no comfort or solace in anything that they had to offer to him whatsoever. And it's just all around good. What else do I have to say about this? Well, I told you already, it's like the parking lot go-to book for me when I'm sitting in a parking lot and feeling humanly alienated. I read this book, you know? <clears throat> I am very into these novellas. It's like very short. There's like a bunch of bullshit in the back. What do I... What, what, let's, let's look at this. Like, here's a bunch of bullshit notes for me. What did I even write in here? Book inside the character of George's head. A man who can't see his future. The loss, the loss of the love of your life. 
midlife, midlife crisis. Going into this life does not equal happiness. Existential loss, loss, loss. A person who is very much alone, a private person. The difficulty to reach out when you are reserved. A person like George, Southern California, West Coast. A portrait of grief, the mundane, everyday responsibility, misanthropy, human longing. Love lost and everything in between. Aesthetic self, abrogation, detachment, plain speaking, postmodern. Cortex and brain stem are murdered in the blackout. That's pretty powerful. Those are my cliff notes on this book. So I could read more about this book, but my cliff notes sum it up pretty much what it means to me. I just read those two assholes, so it's probably all I have to say. Just like keeping this al algorithm going pretty much. Super sad, somewhat depressive. Call me emo. No, I'm just kidding around. I'm gonna smoke another cigarette, drink these clamatos, smoke another cigarette, and then probably drink these clamatos, and then maybe I'll pass out because I ate a bunch of melatonin. But what it feels like when it feels. I could say it all again. This is like the best summary right here. Here. Detachment, plain speaking, misanthropy, the mundane, everyday responsibility, human longing, lost and everything in between. A person who is much alone, a private person, and the difficulty of reaching out when you are a reserved person like George. Lost, lost, lost. Existential. Gaining this life does not equal happiness. Loss. The loss of the love of your life. So, I mean, that can make you sad or whatever. Get in touch with your feelings. Don't be a real asshole. And read Isherwood. But more importantly, there's like the Berlin stories. But I, I don't even fuck around with this that much. But this, I will. And like Nightmail. It's very... Oh, I wrote... See Ms. Haney in there. That's another poet asshole you should probably read. It's worthwhile. <laughs> it's all my name in 2015 at See Ms. Haney. For Christopher Isherwood. Oh, how very interesting. All right, guys. So I'll have to say tonight, over and out, Justin Williams Savoy, and I'll probably never see you again because God could actually kill me in my sleep and that would be a great relief. No, I'm just kidding around. See you tomorrow. I'm sure I'll wake up and do the same asshole things tomorrow. I'll probably go to the Minute Market, drink some coffee. I don't even know. Try to avoid day drinking and just keep on doing bullshit. I mean, this house is full of books and I can just always read or whatever. Sure, sup. Sure, sup, assholes. All right, good night.